Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing a mid-slate um, analysis of the League of Legends Worlds two-game slate, uh, two-match slate. It actually does span two days, uh, and the first match between WBG and uh, LNG finished this morning, and we have a little chance to look and see what's up and see what's live and see what's not live and go over our lineups as well. And I'll give you a little, maybe an idea of something you can do. Um, so WBG um, won three, three games to one in I mean, relatively high scoring games. I guess the, the first match, the first game, they won a pretty low scoring game, like 13 to 12 as far as kills, but their other two, I think they scored over 20. So, these guys all scored pretty well. The big hero was was Zhao Hu uh, at mid laner with 170 points. He actually outscored Light by quite a bit. So actually, the the Zhao Hu uh, captain is probably going to end up being optimal, or or right now it's rating to be optimal, depending on what happens in tomorrow's match between um, BLG and uh, and Hanma Life. So let's first take a look at the Triumphant Warrior. There were only 11 people in this, but the good news is, is we, um, number one is that we were unique. Sorry. And number two, we uh, were the only people to have a four-man WBG stack in the entire tournament. So as a result, we have a big 220-point lead going into day two. Now, the good news is, I guess, the bad news. More good news is that, I mean, well, we need W, we need obviously BLG to win. Okay. Um, although maybe not, you know, if, if Hama Life win kind of like a 3 2 series, I, I don't know if these guys can catch us, you know, because they have to score 200 points more than we do in their three man stacks. And the only ones I'd even be worried about at all are these are ones where they have somebody in the captain, which they don't, you know, so I have to say that, I don't know. We've got to be a pretty healthy favorite. Now, the one thing that could get in our way is this bit of risk that we took by playing Shun in, in the jungle position, it is possible that he does not play. Uh, Wei has been kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting for his shot. Um, however, I can't imagine that they would play him considering that Shun has been there for both the, the world's games and, uh, well, they've won both of them. So then again, I mean, Wei has had some appearances, right? I mean, let me just look at something. We're not going to be able to. Hold on a minute. Let's take a look at. Uh... At BLG. Let's see what Wei did. Yeah, so Wei has not played since October 6th. And in both of these games, he lost. They lost. So I can't imagine Wei coming back. So that bit of risk, I think, is marginal. The one bit of risk we do have is if just BLG lose. And uh, Hanwha, you know, score enough to get all these guys, you know, to get 200 points more than we would get. Certainly possible. I mean, for example, I mean, compare us, you know, to to the light to the LNG people. Let's just see. I mean, the the LNG people got you know an average of about a hundred points per, compared to seventy. So we could get outscored by Hamwa Life. So one thing you could do if you wanted to, and I don't want to, you know, 
recommend a particular site, but you could find a place where you could bet um, these matches and put some money on, on Hamwa Life to win. You know, for example, um, I don't want to withdraw history settings. No, I just, I just want to bet here. Okay. So you would go to, let me see, what, what are the odds actually? So eSports, I think it's somewhere, League of Legends, eSports. Let's just see what the odds are. Um, these are live. How about futures? I'm pretty sure that tomorrow. We'll be able to bet on this. Um, so fine. You know, if it's about pick them or whatever it is, just you could bet money on Hama Life. And then what you can do is you could maybe even middle it. In other words, you could get maybe even Hama Life to win, but not enough to pass us in this contest. And uh, this this is for people that have part of this in the State Kings package or whatever. Um, and I might do some of this. I mean, I might I might bet some uh, Hama Life if I if I'm feeling it. So that's the the triumphant warrior. Uh, let's take a look at the at the shock blast. Um, let's where is a shock blast? Right, let's do this one. Okay. All right. So I doubt that these game stacks are going to win, but you, you just never know. Um, usually, you need like a five five game series that's close, that's high scoring for the game stacks to come through and game one was very low scoring. So I really doubt these game stacks are going to win. So what we're really looking at are these ones with three left. And as I suspected, the Shao Hu uh, captains are, you know, the ones that are in business. So the 674.30 are in really good shape. If uh, Hama Life wins, you know Doran, Zika, and Hama Sports, and and and, and team position. The six sixty nine point one, it's similar. It's Zika, Delight, and Hanwa. Ooh, what happened? He... Oh, right. So some of these also have BLG, Bin Knight, BLG. So all these look like they're in good shape, okay? I guess we didn't get any of these for some reason. Um, these are more 4-3s with Zika and Delight. These are all 69.10. Like, this is this is my top one. And unfortunately, this is pretty chalky. It's got 10 people with it. And this one needs what? This one's actually pretty good. This one needs Jean and Knight. So this one's actually pretty live. And then you go down six points and you have this one, which is even more chalky. Wow, it's got all these. I don't even want this one to come in. But this one's got Bin, Elk, and BLG. So it doesn't look like anything's particularly great. So this one's cool. Like if I can get this one in, this one I'm only chopping would only chop with one person, but it's tough. I mean, I need a really big performance from Bin and Jun, and that's gonna be tough, tough to do, but hey, you never know. And this one's a little bit below, and this one's got all right. So the, here this one's kind of in business. So this one is elk and on and BLG. How many is this one chopping with? Eh, too many. So that's no good. It was no good for us. What about this one? This one is a is a is a is a unique lineup. What what do I suppose this is? Hmm, before I even look at it, so this one's five points behind. 
boy, what is this? It's probably, I don't know, let's see. I mean, this isn't that bad, right? It just needs a really big Jean performance. Wow, and this one didn't even have Zhao Hu in the uh in the captain. Then you have this one, which is chopping with one person. It's 10 points lower, though. Jean and Elk. Well, actually, this one is favored. I mean, obviously, score more 10, 10 more points than this one. So this one's sort of live. Then you're back like 15 points. Well, but then again, these are all pretty live. This one's kind of cool. It's got only two, one chopper, so... It's hard to say, but we're definitely in business by having done this four-man WBG stack. Now, of course, there could be some four-mans that can get there. Um, starting with this one. But we're not going to be involved in any of that. This is our top four-man. I mean, the top one with four people left. Um, it's got a lot to make up. That's all. So that's pretty much it. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, I think we're de well, obviously we're rooting for BLG. We don't have any Hamwa life, so uh, it's probably a decent idea to bet a little on Hamwa life here because not only do I have triumphant warrior exposure, but I also have all kinds of shot glass exposure to BLG. So it's probably a good idea to put some money in the betting markets on the Hamwa life. That would be my advice for anybody that's in with me on this. And that's probably what I'm going to do myself. But overall, obviously, really, really good start. And uh, that's it.